During the first half, the Bobcats held a slight 10 to 7 advantage. After that, it was all Quinnipiac. So James, what did you take away from Quinnipiac's performance on the Bobcat Classic last weekend? Well, it was nice to see that in the first Bobcat Classic that they could get a team that was nationally ranked like BC to come down for the tournament. Hello everyone, welcome to the Q30 Steel Horse Sports Report, presented by the Steel Horse Saloon. Burgers, wings, music and more, the Steel Horse Saloon is North Haven's go-to spot for nightlife fun. I'm Mark Spillane and today we will look at the past week in Quinnipiac Sports Action. The defense really has been the major factor here. They've really, if you watch the games, the puck is mostly in the, in the they're keeping the puck in the offensive, the offensive zone most of the time. Pecknold's please set off Cornell head coach Mike Schaefer in a post-game interview with QVSN. Take a look. I thought that experience from last year, I thought Megan Conaboy, Danielle Allen would really propel this team to a championship. They, f they fell a little short. This week, it's the head honcho of the men's basketball team, Tom Moore. Thanks so much for hopping on this podcast with us. My pleasure, John. It's great to be here. Everybody comes in a slightly different package, and everybody has a different way. And, and the challenge as leading them and coaching them is to sort of draw out their strengths. Welcome to the Q30 Newscast, presented by Joya Spa and Salon. I'm Kelly Novak. And I'm Dora Labatt. The jet stream is coming down from Canada, and that is what is giving us these cold, snowy temperatures. Quinnipiac has yet to have a full week of classes this semester, and with snow later in the weekend, it's beginning to frustrate students. One billion hits on YouTube or whatever it was, and uh, so it's like, oh my gosh, it has to be someone really big, and then they revealed it was Jason Drulo. Well, I wasn't able to make it to Bobcat Way after the win. I did get to travel to Boston today for the Patriots victory parade. The famous Boston duck boats were filled with the players and coaches and rolled down Boylston Street. Has Miley Cyrus finally found Amanda to settle down with? In recent weeks, she and Patrick Schwarzenegger have been seen together. American Heart Story is not the only show you'll see Harris on. The busy entertainer is getting ready to host the 2015 Oscars. So what do you think about Taylor donating to the city and just being the new face of New York, essentially? Check out this week's Instagram of the Week, sponsored by The Bobcat Shop. This week's Instagram of the Week is brought to you by The Bobcat Shop. The Bobcat Shop is your source for custom printing and embroidery for your team, organization, or group. This week's Instagram is by Michaela Wiegand, who tweeted this cool perspective captioning the photo, quote, spent the day at home. Miss USA also made it very runner far. Up. She was first runner-up. In its opening weekend, American Sniper made $105 million, making it the highest grossing January movie release ever. Say does that oh. star oh. Oh. Travis Denham from the Student Programming Board talking to us about an upcoming event. 